In this quickie math cast for Geogebra, we show how to make a slider with an arrow and a label. I'm Linda Falberg Stanowska, and this math cast uses the freeware Geogebra, which you can download at geogebra.org. So here we have our Geogebra window set up like we want it to be set up. We have the algebra view open so we can see what we're creating and we have the drawing pad set up with vertical grid lines, a y-axis, and tick marks, but no numbers along the x-axis. If you want to know how we got this, look at the PDF. It shows all the settings we use to get this drawing pad. And the spreadsheet view is closed. So how do we start? Well, our idea is to build a slider here that, ha that has an arrow, so we can looks nice with an arrow. And what we want to do is be able to move that slider with a single change. So the first thing we're going to do is set the height, the vertical position of that slider. So we go down to the input bar down here, click down here, and type in H for height equals 5, and hit enter. Now our slider will lie on a line segment, so we need a left endpoint for that line segment, a right endpoint for that line segment, and then the line segment itself. So we are, for the endpoints, we're going to use Z because that way it won't bother us if we need other points in our actual geography file. So we're still down in the input bar, Z, and we use an underline to get a sub, and the left, so Z left, and we're going to have it over at minus 10 at H. So that if we change H, this point will change. And we hit Enter. There's our left endpoint, and now Z underline and our right endpoint and it's 10 and H and you don't see that H there but if you run your mouse over it there's the H there's the H there so if we change this automatically these two points will change now let's put a line segment through to these two points we can type it down here, there or we can just go up here and get line segment and put it between these two points and we don't want it to be named something at the beginning of the alphabet, so we, we will rename it, say, S. You can rename it Z. You can rename it whatever you want. Now, the, the beginning point of the slider will be the intersection of the y-axis and our line segment. So let's get the intersection point tool and click right there on the intersection. And then we don't want that to be named A. We're going to rename it to Z underline 0. Okay, now that point is fixed, it can't move, but it will automatically move if H is changed. Now, the end point of our slider, all we needed to do is be a point on the line segment. So we get the new point tool and make sure that we're, that the line segment is glowing and click on it. And then let's rename that to Z. Let's see that this point moves along. So here we go, like this. The final thing is to make the arrow. That's a vector between Z0 and Z. So we go to our line tools again, a vector between two points, and click there and there. To get our slider to jump between these grid values here, what we do is we go to Options and then point capturing and we move it from automatic down to on grid and with that our slider will automatically only take on values on the grid if you want to see other options there's some written in step 10 of the PDF or doc file now the trouble with the slider the way it is it looks nice it moves nicely here we'll see that like this is that we're actually not getting slider information off of it. So that's the first thing we need to do. However, many times we don't want just the X value, we want to multiply it by some kind of scale value. So for the purpose of this, of this video, we're just going to have scale equal to 1. So I click down in the input box, type scale equal to 1, and I'm hitting enter. And now I'm going to say N, the number that's my slider number, is equal to the x value of z 
So this takes the x coordinate of z, which is what changes as I go left and right, and, it mul and we multiply it by our scale. And so now we see that n is a number, 5. And as we move, n will be 6, 7. You can see it changing over there at the left. And that's the label we want to put on this. And then if we decide to change our scale, we simply need to change the number that's the scale. And if we want to change the whole vertical position of this, we just change h. So let's first get rid of all these labels that, that are a problem. So we go to the properties window and we deselect show label on everything. And close it. Okay, so now we can look at it. And now we want to put text, and we want that text to move with the slider point. So see how it's glowing there? So we've hit the text button, and now we're going to click on Z. And here comes our text window. We want dynamic text. We want it to say N equals. So that's text. We put it in double quotes and leave another blank. And now we want it to add the variable number N. So this part is the part that's going to write N equals. And this is the part that's going to be changing dynamically as we move the slider left and right. OK. And then we take our move and we move that on top of that like there. And now as we move our slider left and right, we have our label changing. Right. Let's make everything look nice. We need U to be uh, red colored. We need it to be much thicker, so that's the style. We'll make it 7 even. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, we'll make this point red. So that's Z. And I think we'll make it a little bit bigger, 5. And then we're going to hide everything that we've created except that. So right click, turn off the object, right click, don't show the object. We don't even this want this one. And we don't want that one. So now we have just what we want, the slider arrow. And let's see that it works. And we can change that text to be red. So right click on that and properties and change its color to be red so everything matches. And you can make it bigger and bolder, of course. So bold and let's make it 16. And so now we can see it changing as we go along. In this math cast, we showed how to make a slider with an arrow and a label, and we use the freeware Geogebra available at geogebra.org, and this MathCast was produced with Camtasia Studio.